Hello, welcome to part 36 of Let's Play Dark Souls Remastered. Don't usually say remastered, but I figured I'd throw it in. Anyway, um, you'll recognize this run. We're doing a little walk of shame back to the boss fight, because unfortunately I was not skilled enough to kill Manus on... Uh, definitely not my first attempt, but also not within enough attempts to squeeze it all into one episode. So that's fine. We're just going to do a few more here. Um, I have, this is one of those bosses where just in the past I, um, burned a lot of time just fighting them again and again and then not making much progress before eventually somehow pulling through. Uh, not all the time though that happens, but I, I'm feeling good so far. I'm not, not getting frustrated, which as long as you don't get frustrated, then there's always hope in a fight, you know, and even if you do get frustrated, you can, uh, you can, uh, turn it around, you know. Frustration is never going to make you a fit. So anytime you're frustrated, just take a take a break, step away, cool off, come back, and then don't play until you can actually, uh, until you're having fun and enjoying it, you know? That's what it's all about. Because as long as you have fun, you're a winner. I don't know. You're, you're, you're only a winner if, you're, if, you, kill a, if you kill a boss. <laughs> but if we had fun, then we're someone who had fun. So that's where it's on. So let's give this, I don't know, attempt number six. Um, the good news is I think it's possible to definitely summon Sif right away if you, once you know where he is. And if I know how to roll in the right direction, I can actually dodge most of his attacks. Oh, that's good. Not too badly though. I was giving Sif some uh, tough time for not helping out as much, but then I realized he's just a puppy right now, so the fact that he's here at all, um, I'm going to give him credit for. Yeah. Okay, and I forget, I think Manus is one of those bosses that you have a harder time as once you get half of his health. don't know for sure, though. I think he'll just do more magic effects. What he's doing back there? Oh no! Oh, that's it. Hit me! Oh god! Okay. Uh, no! Oh wow! Okay. So, turns out if you get clipped by someone, you may not take all the attacks. But yeah, you really don't want to get hit with that attack. Oh! This one just got Dodge it for once. Oh my god. That's so accomplished. I can do anything now. Oh, come on, come on. Okay, we almost got him. We almost got him. No, come on. Yeah. No, no. One hit. Get him, Sip. Yes. Yes, Sif. Good job, Sif. Yeah, take that, Manus. Thank you, Sif. Come on, can I get a bow in? Bow? There we go. Good job, doggo. Good dog. Good boy. Oh, and right here, by the way, our quest is now complete. We have found Dusk, who was kidnapped. So she's kind of just going to do that. Very scared. I'm sure anyone would be after being captured. And who knows what Manus was doing to her? Yeah. So we'll just leave her. Leave her be. Um, a few more things to point out in here. Um, first, let me just get my souls. Uh, right here. And ooh, I thought I lost my souls, but I guess we're good. Uh, right here, you'll notice. Uh, remember what um, Chester said that. The uh, Ulysillians, what they call them. They uh, they dug up the grave of Primeval Man, 
And right here, as you can see, is a, uh, a grave that's human-sized. And uh, to make a long story short, uh, they dug up Manus, who was a pygmy. Right, think of him just like as one of those like pink hollows that just are like the lowest, easiest enemy. Think of him as like one of those. And then once he woke up, the Dark Soul started to uh, also wake up, and it warped him into what we just fought. And Manus is the Great Lord of the Dark Soul. So now that we have the uh, Soul of Manus, I think uh, we now have the Dark Soul, right? <laughs> I think. Um, and unfortunately, this one is just a consumable, right? It's not like one of those Great Souls that we need to get, even though, in my opinion, it should be. Extraordinary souls of vicious, lukewarm, lump of gentle humanity. Ancient Manus was clearly once human, but he became the father of the abyss after his humanity went wild, eternally seeking his precious broken pendant. So the main thing to point out here is that this is, it's called a lump of humanity, um, right? Which means that all of humanity are just pieces of Manus's soul, right? So you know how like Gwyn broke off a chunk of his soul and then gave it to, to, um, Seat the scales as well as the four kings. So yeah, it's possible to split souls, and essentially that's what the dark soul does, is right. Like I mean, Manus still does have the lion's share with his main soul, at least at this point in time. But humanity is the dark soul spread out among all humans, right? So that's kind of like the thing is that humans themselves they fall under uh, the dark soul. Um, what makes a human human in their hearts is humanity, which is the dark soul. And um, in Dark Souls world, um, you know, you might think humans were like those pygmies at the beginning, but those aren't really humans. Those are like something different. They're more like a zombie ghoul kind of just shell of what a human is. Whereas what makes an actual human a human that's like, you know, can live, love and laugh and die. All that boils back down to the humanity and the Dark Soul. Now, um, there's of course quite a deep and dark message that I'm not quite ready to <laughs> delve into as far as, um, you know, humans being the darkest thing in the game. <laughs> but um, either way, we've accomplished our quest. So let us uh, warp on out of here. Let's head to Lucille Sanctuary. Let's talk to Elizabeth, the Mushroom Lady, now that we've uh, completed our task. Because the thing is, I don't think Dusk actually shows up anywhere um, that we rescued her. I think she'll have stuff to say to us back in uh, Darkwood Basin, but we'll uh, get to that point when we get there. Uh, so we have enough for a whole two levels here. Um, so we're just going to get our endurance on up. Very nice. And uh, yeah, like I said, let's see what uh, Elizabeth has to say. I have awaited thee. Thou hast rescued Princess Dusk and rid us of that terrible primeval human. Even halting the spread of the abyss, I salute the grandeur of thine enterprise. Please allow me to express my gratitude. I thank thee, as do we all. So we got three mushrooms that we can start tripping on later if we want. Uh, not really. That would be awesome though <laughs> if like it did just like have a actual mushroom effect. But I will remember thee, but I will keep thy story to myself. This is the best way, for thou art come from a time far ahead. No one will sing thy praises, but yet thy greatness shall live on, for it shall be my purpose to remember all thou hast done for us. And that explains why the Artorius got the credit, which, you know, I mean, I'm fine with that. <laughs> um, but yeah, because, you know, time convoluted and she knows we're not from this land, she doesn't want to tell people some reason, I don't know. I mean, in my opinion, I think she could have given us credit and things would have been fine, but it is what it is, so. <laughs> Was thine eye glancing hither? Thou needst not hide thy wonder. I am a mushroom, after all. <laughs> so she is fully aware that she does not belong outside of fantasy. May the flames guide thee. And with that, she, uh, we get a nice participation trophy for our efforts. Um, but that would be the case if we were done here. But we are not done. So let's go ahead and warp over to the township now. And let's go on that side route detour that I was uh, talking about at the end of the last episode. Let's head back out here. 
And then I think it's to the forward right-ish we have to go. Somewhere over there. Um, oh, maybe I'll also... Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna stick with the light rolling because <laughs> uh, this next uh, boss is also gonna be a bit of a handful. Um, okay, so down in this little valley here, um, it's a bit of a logging camp. That's where the where the scenes, scene scenes, got their uh, wood, I guess. Um, I'll just quickly take out this dog, uh, and it's a unique dog. Right? It's like a little bigger than dogs normally are. And it's like got a weird uh, skin color. It's almost like it's a like a hyena, I guess you could say. Uh, look, I think there's an item over here. Yeah, of course there's an item. It's guarded by a few dogs. Glad we can poise through this. It's the wolf ring for us, because our armor has no poise <laughs> right now. Uh, all right, so. This we get a large soul of the big warrior. Thanks. Um, yeah, so there's not too much in this valley. Um, the main attraction is going to be at the end here. Which if I can get to. Um, I'm going to try to survive this. <laughs> but I do know if you die to this, you can. Um, we're gonna have to circle back, right? So I'm not gonna be able to do this on my first attempt, and you're, you're gonna see why. <laughs> I think it's possible, but um, I'm not equipped or good enough to do it in one go, and you'll see in a second here why. So coming in here, um, this is the boss room. Oh, so there is our our goal, right? that black dragon Kalami. Um And I don't know if he's actually going to do this thing yet, but. Seem... Okay, now he's circling back. Let's give him a second here. Um, okay, I think I probably have to go down. Alright, well... Wish me luck. Got a long ladder. And um, if you do the math, you'll notice that the dragon has some advantages right now. Being that you can fly and shoot fire. So if we kind of just poke our head in here... Uh, Items. Uh, yeah, he's uh, here comes the rolling thunder. Uh, let's see if we can get out of the way. Ah! Okay, I didn't think it would one shot me though. Um, but yeah, he's he's only gonna do that. Like he's literally just gonna fly back and forth, and we're gonna just keep dying on the ground. And um, you know, if you're stubborn and you have persistence, you know, you may want to just keep charging in and seeing if you can find the pattern. I'll save you the trouble. There's no way. Um, we're going to need to get some assistance here, right? Um, and knowing that we're up against a dragon, who better but a former dragon slayer to give us a hand? And luckily for us, we met a dragon slayer. Was it uh, two episodes ago? I don't know. Either way, he is over here. I am, of course, talking about our man, Hawkeye Go. So let's uh let's go lean on his shoulder a bit. Let's tell him our troubles and see what he can do for us. Um, yes, yeah, a bit of a hike to him. But once you can hear his knife at work. Oh, I have an idea. We are just going to uh we're gonna tell him exactly <laughs> what the problem is. <laughs> or exactly why we're here. Help me go. Good morning. Is the black dragon passing me duress? Uh, I, I would say so. Yes. I thought as much. He's called Calamit. A racist dragon indeed. Even mighty Anna Londa dared not provoke his ire. I see little good coming from this, but my intent is to persevere. The bitter end? Of course. <laughs> good, good. What is bravery without a dash of recklessness? I've taken a liking to thee. 
and I owe thee much for thy service to Artorius. Now, watch, and see how Goth hunts dragons. was never loosed. That bat will be grounded for a good spell. The rest is in thine hands. I await good tidings. Ah, dragon slaying. Knighthood's highest calling. Alrighty. Cool. So, um, first of all, it's a uh, Hawkeye Goth. <laughs> Yeah, uh, whatever you hear on the internet, whatever the man himself says is usually what people go by. So just keep that in mind if you're not good with names. But um, anyway, so that was definitely one of the coolest cutscenes in the game, in my opinion. Goff, Goff coming out of retirement and uh, taking on the biggest, baddest dragon, even though he's blind, which I guess he was just sort of listening for it. And uh, yeah, he did us a solid. Now it's not going to be able to fly, and we can fight it like any other Good old boss. So, um, let's go ahead and take it on. And we got a bit of a journey. I think I might just cut. Uh, you guys know how to get there. So I'll see you at the front gate. Just notice I don't have 20 Estes. So, forgot to set the bonfire, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay, so now, can you see him down there? I think he's hiding. So let's uh, go for round two. Uh, in my opinion, this is round one. In my opinion. Uh, that last round was more of a more of a demonstration. Yeah, music really comes menacingly on the corner. So there's gonna be a few things to watch out for. Um, oh, yeah, first of all, that one. Um, he, we are gonna need to try to cut off his tail. So. Let's see what we can do about that. Oh, watch out for that attack. Yeah, um... Oh, ow. That is a good opportunity for getting this tail, though. And, oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't trying to keep rolling there. That's why it's safer to always roll than not to roll. properly there. Might be better. Too close to the base. Oh, mm. ah. Just barely dodging the fire this fight. And then we'll heal there. Being way too slow. I'm not taking the chances that I should be getting because I'm hesitating. Whoa. I don't know how that didn't mean. Ow. <laughs> yeah, if they do an attack, assume that they can hit you. <laughs> The 
beautiful little inferno there. Heal rather than go for the tail, I guess. So I feel like we have done some damage to the tail already. Don't want to lose that progress. I've heard that this can be one of the most annoying tails to get. I don't know if I've ever even gotten it, so. <laughs> oh, he got me. I think this might have a side effect. <laughs> yeah, let's see. I think I take more damage now, because look at that look at that thing on my head. What is that? It's not normally there. Okay. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, I gotta I gotta just go into the tail more here. Alright, that killed me. <laughs> I think I think that was the damaging effect there that got me. So uh, let's cut to the next attempt. Yep. Yeah. Alrighty, let's see how well this goes. It's a bit of a jarring start. Right? Like no, normally you go through the fog and the fight begins, but first you got to go all the way down the long ladder. Which this this by the way is one of the coolest features in the game because of how often you're slowing down ladders. Um, anyway, enough, enough small talk. Let's get our souls before he kills us. We'll grab those after we kill him. Ah. I'm not gonna give him an inch to breathe. Okay, that's the attack we want. Got two hits in there. Oh, the second one may not have hit properly. That's what we want to see. Oh, damn it. <laughs> ah, keeps getting me with that. Oh, we got it. Nice. So now I can die with happiness. Although, really, I'm gonna try to not die. And take him out one hit here. Well, not one hit, but one go, I mean. I really did not get hit by that again. Very nice. One thing I think is funny and kind of sad is that bosses will still do their um, animation of their tail attack even after you cut off the tail. Uh, he keeps doing that for us, which is looking out very nice. And you'll notice too, when I'm not trying to get his tail, he's a much more manageable boss. So you're really just going to beat this tail again. Alright, well, GG. Once I got your tail, you weren't so bad. But good fight. He's still he's still down here. Also, <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm, I'm not gonna talk about not my high course here. But um, anyway, for our efforts, we get the calamity ring, which is a uh, cool little ring. But uh, it basically, I guess, if you're doing like a challenge run or something, or you're just or a masochist, you can uh, put the ring on, and it'll be a constant effect of um, like when he grabbed me. Uh, like you'll just you'll just take more damage. You know? <laughs> no big deal. Uh, but anyway, before you teleport out of here, over there is something that is a very interest to us. That was a proper English sentence there, but anyway, this uh, strangely colored chest. Oh, it could just be the thing. Okay. If you open it up, it's not a mimic, we get a tight sled. Yeah, you know, those are valuable to find, because um, 
probably not going to, but... Titanite slabs are what you use to fully upgrade your armor. Um, but usually I'll just put my armor up to plus six because, uh... Because... whatever. I do it because you can buy small and large Titanite shards, but you can't buy chunks and you can't buy slabs. Which means you have to grind for them, and that takes time, which is the real valuable when making resource. Anyway, the last item here is going to be this, uh, some great arrows. I guess this should be a developer message. Only Hawkeye over here. Oh, yeah, so there you go. <laughs> In case you're running around not knowing what to do, um, there's a message telling you how to survive. So anyway, now that we uh, did our task, let's actually go say hello to Goff and um, see what he has to say to us for hanging out the drink. Before we do that, we're gonna sneak in. Ah, uh, just barely sure. You know what? Let's uh, quickly. You know, just let's just use them. So I'm here. Okay, what do I need? Like literally just a hundred, right? Uh, if I can find my soul items here, uh, I'll use two for good measure, and that'll do it. Twenty-five. So yeah, we're getting plus uh, thirty endurance. About is what I want. It'll work out for us. You know what? Let's just wait for some all the way here. Because why not? Humanity restored. Very nice. And before I run out of time, let's have some closing word for coughs. And I think we're done with the DLC at that point. We've, uh, we killed Calamite, we killed Manus, killed Artorius, killed the Sanctuary Guardian, of course. And got all the important items. So. All that's left is to get the last pieces of dialogue. I'm sure, he's going to be very proud of us. Ah, thou hast defeated Kalamit, wondrously played. Lord Grim's blessing upon me. That beast. We'll never take to the skies again. So yep, very nice. He's happy that we slew the dragon, because like you said, there's a bit of a history with Calamy. Like he would terrorize anyone wanna know. Yeah, you know not, not a good time. So did a good service for the world and humanity and everyone. But yeah. You know, it's Dark Souls, so we save him for one thing and something else is gonna get them. Dragons shall never be forgotten. We knights fought valiantly. For every one of them, we lost three score of our own. Exhilaration, pride, hatred, rage. The dragons teased out our dearest emotions. Thou will understand one day. At thy twilight, old thoughts return. In great waves of nostalgia. Mm, well said, well said. Ah, this great bow? I shan't need it, but no dragons to hunt. I know not if a human could even operate it. But here, I need outweighs mine. Ah, oh, and he gives us his great bow. I forgot about that. So, um, yeah, even though it's still right there, it's now in our possession. Um, any last closing words? I suspect thou hast taken a gander at it, but the dark of the abyss, which swallowed poor Artorius, threatens to devour our entire land of Ulysseal. It seems that this dire fate is unavoidable, but seduced by a dark serpent or no, they awoke that thing themselves and drove it mad. One's demise is always one's own making. Very true words there. Now, do not mistake my words. I cherish my work. Wood carving is a nuanced art. I would have much to talk about with that blacksmith. In truth, how oh, is the old chap, I wonder? Still hammering away, I should hope. So, uh, yeah, he's friends with the blacksmith at Nanorlanda, who, as we know, is a really chill guy. You know, you can imagine having a beer with, with two of them. That'd be a good night. 
And that's all he's gonna say. So uh, yeah, that is the story. Farewell, proud human. May every honor be bestowed upon thee. Yep, that is the story of the DLC. He came, he slew some demons and dragons, got a great bow, and then he left. Um, so yeah, with that, that's going to conclude this episode. And uh, yeah, next time, next time is going to be a very good episode, guys. Trust me on that. But um, we'll get to that next time. So thank you all for watching, as always. Hope you enjoyed. I had a lot of fun making it, and I hope you all enjoyed watching it. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.